developing details on the New Jersey Turnpike crash that injured Tracy Morgan and killed comedian James McNair. The driver of the tractor trailer who hit the limo the two were riding in has just accepted a plea deal. New Jersey reported Tony Yates live in New Brunswick with the story. Tony. And David, uh, that driver, Kevin Roper, led a very law-abiding life before this accident that could have put him in prison for several years. But his attorney said no one involved in this case wanted to see that happen. So they worked to make sure that justice was served in another way. I'm going to enroll Mr. Roper into the program for the 36-month term. Based on the fact that he understands the terms and conditions, the consequences associated with that, with that, Kevin Roper faces no jail time in the June 2014 crash on the New Jersey Turnpike that killed James McNair and left his friend, comedian Tracy Morgan, and three others injured. Roper was driving a tractor trailer for Walmart when he fell asleep behind the wheel and crashed into the limousine bus carrying Morgan and his entourage after a comedy show in Philadelphia. In the two years since that accident, the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office and Morgan's attorneys have been working on this plea deal. Roper pleads guilty to vehicular homicide and several counts of aggravated assault, one for each person injured. In exchange, he's entered into a pretrial intervention program for three years. He completes 300 hours of community service. He has to maintain full-time employment, pay the fines associated with the case, and commit no criminal offenses. If he does that cleanly, all of the charges he pled guilty to today are wiped from his record. His attorney spoke after the plea. The fortunate thing about this is he can go forward with his life mm -hmm. working and doing what he's supposed to do. So if he completes the program, the charges will be extinguished. He won't have a criminal record and this incident will be behind him. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and that's, as I said, that's where we always thought it should be more uh, in the civil courts, not the criminal courts. So this was a way to bridge the gap. Yeah, and the prosecutor in this case says she did reach out to Tracy Morgan's attorney and the attorneys of the other people who were injured to let them know that this plea deal was happening and would probably be accepted. She got no response from any of them. For now, we're live here in New Brunswick. Tony Gates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.